I just want to be a role model. That's it. I try to motivate the youth. Want to do something. Find something. Work somewhere. You don't have to love it. You know, find somewhere to work. Hate it for a whole bunch of years like the rest of us did. <laughs> you don't have to like where you worked. I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know if you've ever hated a job. But why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? I was giving the manager hints. You know I was late today. Is this cash from the register? What are we gonna do about this? He's like, we're gonna go back to work. Not what I had in mind. Hated the store. It was a scary neighborhood. I didn't like the neighborhood, and then I worked in the steel department. If you're not familiar with the steel department at the grocery store, it's the self-checkout lane. <laughs> yes, I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid, like you know when they're gonna rob you when they're ringing up this stuff, because they always have to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> Store. I hated it, you know? And my manager was the worst. He's the worst. He always shows up. Listen, Mike, if people are stealing, I need you to do something. Like, I'm afraid not, sir. <laughs> That's not happening. I live around here. I know these fools. <laughs> what happens if I apprehend William? He's like, half of this shit for you, dog. <laughs> I know William. Struggle with me, then run off. William got away. How do I know whose name? <laughs> Thank you for getting it very late, ma'am. <laughs> late ass lash, like. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. I knew he was about to rob us, because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> I'm not coming after you. I'm wearing orthopedics. You can't sprint in shoes that feel like marshmallows. <laughs> he tries to play me while he's bringing up his stuff. I'm watching him, this dude makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. You know, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch, show some effort at least. He's like, me. <laughs> Dude, the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. <laughs> Clear example of someone who doesn't know how the old saying goes, you don't steal a cake mix if you ain't stole the bow. Exactly, yes, you don't steal the cake mix if you ain't stole the bow. <laughs> That's great, you guys are like, I've never heard of that. I like how everyone's looking for the black people, like, have you guys heard of <laughs> The black people here are like, we ain't heard that either, man. You gotta ask Mike. <laughs> That's great. You haven't heard you don't steal the cake mix if you ain't stole the bow? I know I made that up. <laughs> but y'all should use it. I love her face. She's like, how? <laughs> no, I want to. I, I do. I, I don't understand. Use it during arguments that you just want to dismantle. You want to unravel. You want to fight, be over, deliver the line, walk off, ends the entire situation. It's that simple. You just deliver. What? No, no. You don't steal a cake mix if you ain't stole the bow. <laughs> All it takes is one person tonight to be like, you know what, he has a point. <laughs> Where are you gonna mix it?